On the 20th and 21st of September 2019, there were protests in Egypt. In the cities of uh, Alexandria, Cairo, uh, Al Mahalla, Al Kubra, and uh, Suez. Around 2,000 uh, protesters uh, were detained uh, by the security forces, and the numbers of the protesters are estimated some thousands. <coughs> now, since uh, 2013, uh, although the uh, number of people who might gather uh, were restricted by 10, uh, now we see the, for the first time after 2016, the latest protest, that uh, now there's a protest uh, emerging in, in Egypt. Of course, uh, we think it means different to Egypt and it's really emerging something else. That's why in this video we want to talk about this. Are these a sign of a greater problem for Egypt or not? Let's start. <music> Before we say the end and wait for the end, I will say yes, it's a greater sign for Egypt and its future. And why? It's because of uh, LCC's anti-democratic uh, regime. Uh, we know that uh, Egypt has um, made a deal with IMF about uh, 20 billion loan, if I'm not wrong, and this is really helping the states uh, financing. But we have to for don't uh, we have to remember that. Uh, the purchasing uh, power of uh, people have been decreased, declined greatly. And this is the, one of the reasons why the people were on the streets, because of the economic grievances. People are poor and they are getting poor. They do not believe that the richness within the Egypt are shared equally with the people. They see that the elites on the top are getting the IMF loans for their own benefits. They are living in luxuries. But there, the people in, of Egypt are living uh, in poor conditions. And that's why one of the main reasons what we have been projecting is uh, economic grievances. The other is the anti-democratic uh, administration style of LCC president. Why? Now, think about this. Sami Annan, a presidential candidate in the previous uh, uh, elections, is now... Uh, in the prison and his two I will say uh, Lee I mean there are two leaders who supported him and they are the anti-muslim brothers uh, brotherhood leaders they don't like it means the anti muslim brotherhood uh, regime or uh, approaches to the government and even they have been now under prison because they are against al -Sisi. and there is another one a journalist in the opposition Politician Halid Dawood is under now uh, also uh, uh, prison, and there is a, a human rights activities activists. Uh, his name is Menhur Al Masiru. He is also now uh, in the in the uh, prison. Those people have nothing in common other than being against Al Sisi. It's not they are against only each other, but the first and the almost uh, point that we have now taken into consideration, attention, is they are all against uh, LCC. And he doesn't like anyone who says something against him. That's why he put them under, uh, under prison. So this also creates a grievances in the people's eye, in the people's minds. Uh, because they cannot be heard by the administration. Their ideas cannot be represented by the leaders of their communities. So people are in the street because they want the administration, administration to hear their concerns, their needs, because their needs are urging economy, better lives, better schools, a little bit losing in the security parameters. They want to re uh, uh, live freely in their own country, better access to internet and all these things. So that's the problem. And another problem that we are seeing from this point is that Although they are different, but they are all against LCC, there is a possibility that these guys, I mean, these opposition groups might emerge against uh, LCC. And that's, that's why, like the economic grievances, this might also cause a greater uh, sign for us to uh, be... Uh, really be careful about it because uh, it will not be sold easily by LCC and if I may say I don't believe that he has the intention to solve these problems 
The other problem is uh, there were two islands, maybe you don't know it, but uh, their names are Tiran and Sanair, uh, Sanafir. Uh, you will see it now on the screen. And they were given, although they are unpopulated, they were given to Saudi Arabia. Because El Sisi wants to get aligned with the Saudis and he wants to get some finances for them from them in order to support the um, country's economy. But it also creates a great concern to people of uh, Egypt because I know personally that they are very much proud of uh, their uh, own identity and their own country and the history. I mean, we have to remember that Egypt has a great history and uh, they are not like drawn by uh, some uh, pen and pencils. They have a history behind themselves. And that's, that's the main reason that they believe that these uh, submission of these two islands to Saudi Arabia uh, control is against their uh, sovereignty, is against their independence, is against their pride. And that's one of the reasons why these people are, are also on the streets uh, protesting El Sisi. Is it possible that it might emerge to a greater protest? Yes, indeed. And for that purposes, we need to really uh, closely monitor how this protest will intensify in the future. If it is gradually in, in, uh, increasing, yes, it's a great sign. Uh, then we have to monitor how the security forces are going to uh, tackle these uh, challenges. If they are going to use a hard fist, it will really like, a, like using a pressure on the pickles, you know, then it erupts. On your face uh, it will be like that it will be erupted to all cities easily and then it will be a great problem for the administration but from now on into the future we do not foresee any change in LCC's direction he might use the economy to give some benefit benefits to some leaders of these oppositions in order to calm down the water but this might work for a little where it's going to also disturb the economy greatly and he might use this we know in the uh, Middle East uh, this is a kind of a, a approach using finance in order to settle the, uh, the CDC but it only works for a while because then there will be greater demand from the other side and we need to see if LCC is doing greatly to the country to settle all these or challenge all these uh, problems no he doesn't he has only one direction he doesn't see any other directions that's why we project between three to five years there will be more and more protests which might be brutal in the history of Egypt even. And that's why, uh, yes, we see these protests as a greater sign of a bigger problem. And unless Sisi changes his direction, how he administer, administers uh, Egypt, we believe that, as a geopolitical compass believes that, there will be greater problem in the coming five years in Egypt, which might be brutal and not good. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, there's a like button underneath the screen, please press on it. And if you also subscribe yourself to our channel, you will be the first one to watch our uh, coming videos once we publish one on the YouTube. Thank you for again watching out this video. And see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.